In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my manifestation routine. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and of course if you're new here, welcome. My name is Erin and this channel is all about helping you build the business and life of your dreams. So in today's video, what I'm gonna be doing is walking you through my manifestation routine. And the reason why I wanted to do this is because so many of you still have so many questions about exactly how to manifest the things that you want into your life. So I thought it would be best instead of me answering all the individual questions to take you through exactly how I manifest things into my life so that you could take maybe the areas that you're not doing and then implement them into your own practice. So if you enjoyed this video I would very much appreciate it if you gave it a big thumbs up and of course if you are new here then why not consider subscribing I put out new videos every Tuesday and Friday all about business mindset and of course manifestation so the first step into being able to manifest exactly what I want what I do is get a very clear visual representation of what it is that I'm trying to achieve with my manifestation so exactly what it is I want so many people are so wishy-washy with the things that they're trying to achieve through manifestation. Whereas the more specific that you can be on exactly what it is that you want, the better chance that you're going to be able to manifest that or something better. See, the thing is so many of us also get attached to the specific thing when often the universe has bigger plans for us and we will achieve something that is of greater value to us than that thing we were originally trying to achieve. But to be able to effectively co-create with the universe and manifest something into your life, you need to know exactly what it is that you want. So whether it is through writing it down or creating a vision board, which is going to be my next step, make sure you know exactly what it is that you're trying to experience and the emotions that that experience or that thing is going to bring to you. You think of emotions like the currency for manifestation. It's not necessarily just the thoughts, it's the emotions that help you to manifest things. So if you know what emotions your goals are going to bring to you and you can evoke them as often as you possibly can with the focus on that goal, then you're going to have a much easier time at actually manifesting that thing or that emotion into your life. So my second step, as I just said, is then to create a vision board. Just like I mentioned in the goal setting video a couple of days ago, which if you haven't watched, I would definitely suggest you do so because I go much further in depth into why vision boards and goal boards are effective. But having a vision board that you can constantly be reminded of exactly what it is that you're trying to manifest is a really quick way to be able to do so. Sometimes we are kind of a bit lazy with our manifestation. We might think of something that we want once and you know visualize about it write it down but if we're not constantly focused on it if our efforts aren't consistent then you'll find it a lot harder to be able to manifest that thing just like working out in the gym eating healthy all of those habits manifestation is something that takes time but it also takes consistent effort so having that reminder through a vision board is a great way for you to be able to do that so that would be the second step for me my manifestation routine i would know exactly what i want and i would create a vision board or add that goal to my vision board to constantly be reminded of it the third thing i would do then after i know exactly what i want and i've kind of got this visual representation of it is that i would start a visualization practice so i love to do visualizations in my morning meditation after i've had some quiet time trying to clear my mind then I will often either listen to a guided meditation from someone else or just some music and do it myself where I'll really feel into experiencing that goal or desire I have in the present moment so if I was trying to manifest a trip to Bali or something like that then what I would do is visualize myself like getting off that plane what it would feel like is it humid what am I eating what experiences am I having and how are they making me feel? Emotions, I just want to reiterate, emotions are so, so important when it comes to manifesting your dreams. And the more intensely that you can feel those emotions, the better you're going to get at manifesting. So do visualization meditations. And if you are not very good at kind of leading yourself through a visualization meditation, then I would definitely do guided ones. And some ones that I really love are future self visualizations and these are actually where you kind of meet your future self the person who has achieved all of these goals and you experience what it's like to be that person with that person with all of those things that you want to achieve in your life so 
um, Hot Rich Love Your Life Bitch. Sophie from Hot Rich Love Your Life Bitch has a really good future self guided visualization meditation and so does Jason Stevenson. You can find him on YouTube. He's got a really great one as well. So if you struggle to do these visualizations yourself, definitely go for the guided ones in the beginning. And then the third step that I would do when I'm trying to manifest things into my life is practice gratitude. You know, the whole entire concept of manifestation or the law of attraction is that like attracts like. So subject of the same matter will be attracted to each other like a magnet. So if you're constantly feeling grateful, feeling abundant, feeling joyful, then that's what you're going to attract more of into your life. Whereas if you're kind of focusing on and feeling like there's a lot of lack because you want this thing but you don't have it, then you're just going to experience and attract more lack. And trust me, I get that this is the most difficult thing you can possibly do. Basically, what someone's telling you to do when they tell you this is like, trick yourself into thinking you have something you don't. Trust me, I get how difficult it is, but you don't necessarily have to feel like pretend to yourself like if I wanted this like particular bag, I don't have to pretend that I like have that bag, but I need to be grateful for all of the other things that I have into my life whilst I'm in pursuit of this bag because all I'm doing is experiencing those feelings of gratitude. Like I have everything that I need. I have all of these things that make me happy. So I'll attract more things that make me happy and possibly that might be that bag. I don't know, I've never tried to manifest a bag, but that was just an example I thought I would use. But as often as you possibly can, feel extremely grateful for the life that you live and the things that you have and you'll attract more things that make you feel like that. And then finally, my fifth step, and this is the most fun for me, but it's to act as if, you know, I actually only really learned about this this year. And it's something that I've just been doing and regardless of whether it's super effective in manifesting, which it is, but anyway, it's also just really fun and makes you feel good about yourself. So acting as if is basically just being the person that would have those things that you want in your life. So for me, you know, this successful worldwide phenomenal business to be this like public speaker, to be someone who's really making an impact on people's lives. You know, even though I'm doing that to a certain degree now, every single day when I wake up, I just pretend or act as if like I'm this really powerful like CEO. Sometimes I wear heels. I always make sure to feel good about myself, to get dressed up, like take lunch breaks, have little lunch meetings and things like that. Go work at cafes as if like I was off in the world somewhere in Paris or Bali working in a cafe. As often as I possibly can, I just like almost make believe, like play, like you, like when you were a child and you played like an astronaut or a vet, or I played witches, but you know, whatever it was that you played when you were a little, like just spend parts of your day, just like make believing and playing that you are the person who already has those things that you want to achieve. And as I said, like that's just gonna make you feel good if you're focusing it, your attention in the right direction. And it's just fun, like it's fun to dress up, it's fun to make you feel good about yourself and all of that. So that also helps you to attract what it is you want because if you're the person who can have those things in your life, the universe is going to give those things to you. So I hope that all makes sense. This is something I'm super passionate about, so I do understand that I can ramble a lot and talk very quickly but if you have any questions about this process then please do let me know i'll just reiterate it's knowing exactly what you want getting that visual representation through a vision board doing visualization meditations and really feeling into the emotions of the experiences that you would have if you had those goals in your life practicing gratitude, always be focusing on the positive, raising your vibrations, and then of course, acting as if being the person who is capable of having those goals and dreams in their life. So any questions, leave them in the comments below. I really, really appreciate. I'm so grateful for you watching this video. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one.